problems in any kind of a floor generally come from below. So to avoid problems, we need to understand the anatomy of a floor. The foundation layer, the structure down under all the tiles is called the substrate. Bryant, what are the critical properties of a substrate for a tiled floor? Well, you really need something that's even and flat and also is load bearing for a ceramic tile. Talk to us about this term, uncoupling. Well, support and uncoupling are really the important basis for the integrity of any tile assembly. This is more important with today's lightweight construction materials. And really what you get with uncoupling is independent movement. The tile is somewhat independent of what's going on below the okay. uncoupling membrane. Now we need the tiles to be bonded and using the right product will make the installation last. Ryan, talk to us about thin set mortars. Well, basically thin set mortar is a sand and cement based product. And you want to use the right kind in the right place. So you're going to reference the Dietra handbook. This will let you know what thin set mortars we recommend for your appropriate substrate. We'll give you some more details on that later. But now we get to the tiles themselves. Are there tiles not suitable for a floor? You really need something that's going to be pretty strong, pretty durable. There are some wall tiles that might be able to be used for residential bathroom floors. But generally speaking, you want to use a floor tile for floor tile installation. There's a whole field worth studying called profiles. Can you just tell us what are profiles? Well, they're really important because in some cases you need a edge protection profile, you know, for a floor tile to an adjacent other floor covering. And you also need movement profiles and there are also profiles to give you a finished edge for tiles that don't have bull nose pieces. Okay, so you can get the one that just solves your particular installation problem. But before we get into the details, there's a bit of history that'll help us to understand what we are working with today. 